Well guys, as you can tell by the title of this video, we are talking about Mill Creek's new releases of Ultra Q and Ultra, oops, and Ultra Man. Now, prior to these being released, I knew absolutely nothing about these two shows and was surprised to learn how huge they were, not just in Japan, but here in the States as well. Even today, there is a Netflix animated show based on the series. There are conventions, there's toys. It's a huge franchise that aside from hearing the name Ultraman here and there throughout the years, that I really essentially knew nothing about. The series was created by sci-fi and effects artist and director E.G. Tsuburaya, who was co-creator of the Godzilla fame, and later he decided to branch off on his own to create a new type of Japanese TV show. His idea was to make a show similar to the Twilight Zone, but surrounding kaiju monsters, which became Ultra Q. Now the difference between Ultra Q and Ultra Man is Ultra Q is a more of an anthology mystery show involving monsters. They created a sequel to the show called Ultra Man. Now this time we have a hero to fight the monsters and it was more based on a sci-fi action show. And from then on, Ultraman blew its way into pop culture and still remains to this day the highest rated and biggest TV show event in Japan. And when it finally made its way to the States in the late 70s, it became a cultural phenomenon that for somehow just flew right by me. So I was thrilled when Mill Creek Entertainment announced they are releasing the Ultraman franchise for the first time restored and remastered in full HD 1080p. These two were the first to be released this month, October 15th is when they were released with the next round hitting sometime in November through January of next year. So guys, get ready because we are going to be swimming in kaiju monsters for the next couple of months. But for now, we have the two that started it all, Ultra Q and Ultra Man, and they have both been restored in an absolute stunning HD 1080p master. And both are featured in their original aspect ratio of four by three and the original Japanese language with English subtitles. Now guys, the HD master gives the presentation a stunningly boost in quality. The edges of the 4x3 frame looks terrific with smooth edges and I didn't notice any ghosting on the edges of the frame. Ultra Q is in black and white and the HD really boosts the contrast level in this giving the images a nice depth and feel to it and I honestly didn't notice much, if any, of any age-related wear and tear, nor any issues with digital noise from the new HD Master. Ultraman also looks very stellar with vibrant, bright colors, and the colors look terrific. The monsters, the kaiju monsters, also look great with nice details. The silver and red Ultraman suit is another standout. It just all looks great. The audio for both of these sounds great. With both tracks, the dialogue comes through crisp and clear. Music and sound effects sound excellent as well. Now, Ultraman is, like I said, a more sci-fi action uh, series, and so it has more of that type of sound effects. The ships flying by, guns and explosions, and of course, the angry, angry kaiju monsters rampaging across the islands and into the city and it all sounds great with the new DTS HD stereo mix. There was some nice panning between the two speakers as well. And on both of these there was no issues with audio distortion or dropouts. Now as for any special features that come with these, these are bare bone discs, which honestly was a real bummer. It would have been great to include some making of or especially interviews. Instead, we just get the nice booklet that Mill Creek includes with both of these features. This goes in and has some production stills, uh, production notes. It also has each episode there, talks about the, the episode. Yeah, so this is a pretty cool in-depth uh, collector's booklet here. So there is the booklet 
All right, guys, now let's get into the scores. For Ultra Q, I'm going to give the video a 4.5 out of a 5 and the audio a 4 out of a 5. For Ultra Man, I'm going to give the video a 4 out of a 5 and also the audio a 4 out of a 5. Now, guys, if you're a fan of the Ultraman franchise or just a fan of Godzilla and Kaiju Monsters, these are both a must-own set. And now, guys, do me a favor. Jump down in the comments section. Let me know if you are a fan of the Ultraman franchise, what you think of it, if you grew up with it, and if you're going to be picking up these box sets. I want to thank Mill Creek Entertainment for sending us these Blu-rays, letting us review it for you guys. But most of all, I want to thank all you guys out there for watching this video, for commenting, liking, and just supporting our little channel here. So we appreciate that. Stay tuned for some more Blu-ray reviews, movie reviews, trip videos, giveaways, and some film essay videos with our Lost Cinema series. I'm going to be dropping a couple more soon over the next couple weeks. So stay tuned for all that. And we'll see you in the future. Yeah. <laughs>